In this video we are going to look at the transaction SU24 configuration settings. Here we are entering SAP transaction SU24. This SAP transaction will let us configure the transaction to have the required SAP authorization objects. Here we are entering SAP Custom Transaction Z test. We will be adding authorization objects we have identified from the SAP trace. We will be clicking on Add Objects button to add the authorization objects manually into the screen. We are entering the object S underscore program which controls the program execution. Here we are maintaining the authorization object values for the SAP custom transaction. Here we are picking the values required for the SAP authorization objects. These values are selected based on the SAP trace we performed. Here is the final SAP authorization setting for the SAP Custom Transaction ZTEST.